Hello, in this video we're going to try to find this limit. We have the limit as x approaches 0 of the secant of x over 1 minus sine x. So if you're not really sure what to do here, remember whenever you have limits, the first thing you should always try to do is take this number and put it where the x is. Okay, so let's try to do that. So if we do that, we get the secant of 0 over 1 minus the sine of 0. Now, you might not be familiar with the values of secant, but you probably are familiar with the values of cosine. And recall, secant is 1 over cosine. So this is really 1 over cosine of 0. We'll put this in parentheses so there's no confusion. Over 1 minus sine of 0. And cosine of 0 is actually just 1. So this is equal to 1 over 1. Over, and then sine of 0 is 0, so this is 1 minus 0. 1 over 1 is 1, so we get 1 over 1, and so we just get 1 as the answer. And that's actually it. The answer is equal to 1, so this is equal to 1. A lot of times in these problems, when you try to do stuff like this, it doesn't actually work because you end up like dividing by 0 or something funny, and you have to do some algebra or use L'Hopital's rule. But in this case, in this rare case, it actually worked. We took the 0, we plugged it in, and we got an answer. And whenever you're finding limits, this should always be your first attempt, even if it's just a mental attempt and you do it in your head. It's always worth trying because every once in a while it will work. And this is an example of where it works. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.